In this IntelliJ tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a runnable jar inside of IntelliJ. Now for this specific tutorial, we're actually using the IntelliJ build system. There are a couple other ways that you can create runnable jars and they include using other build systems like Maven or Gradle. But for the specifics of this tutorial, we're just gonna be focused on the IntelliJ build system. So if you go in the upper right and click on these three dots, you can go to project structure. Inside of project structure, we can go to artifacts and you'll notice there's nothing to show here. But if we click on the plus sign, we can actually add a jar. We can add an empty jar or we can add one from modules with dependencies. This is the one we'll select. From here, it opens up a new screen and this is where we select the main class. So we select the main class and we set this to extract to target jar so that all dependencies will be packaged into this single jar. Uh, and then we set the directory of the manifest file, which we'll just leave at the source root. So then we can hit okay. We can hit apply and okay again. Now it won't immediately create the jar file, but what it did was it created some of the scaffolding for us. So we have this meta inf folder and this manifest.mf, and this includes all of the properties of the jar file. So if we close this and we go up to these three dots in the left, and then go to build, we can click on build artifacts. Then we get a selection to build the jar that we already created. So we'll click build. It's now building the jar. And once it's done, it'll produce an output jar in our out folder. So now we have this jar. We can either open it up in a terminal and type java-jar and then the name of the jar and then hit enter and you'll see that it ran our jar and it produced the output that we were expecting. Another way we can run this jar is if we go up to the configurations, we can edit configurations, then hit this plus sign, scroll down until we have jar application, click on that. Let me open this up a little bit so we can see. We can rename this to something like runnable. So now we set the path to our output jar that we've output from our artifacts. Now we have to set our JRE, which I'll just set to default, and we can hit OK. Now we can go up here, hit the play button, and it will run. And there is our output that we're expecting. And that is how you create a jar inside of IntelliJ.